Hey folks, Forrest Elder, Elder Chrysler Dodge Jeep, Cedar Creek, here in good old Gun Barrel City, America. Hey guys, we're gonna take a little uh, time today and touch on whether or not I should buy a new or used vehicle, okay? All right, so first off, should I buy a new or used? Now, there's a lot of factors going into this. So uh, one of the things, you know, new vehicles, a little more, uh, a little more safe, I guess, in the long run. You know, it hadn't been used, hadn't been abused. Uh, there's incentives there if you're maybe a little upside down uh, or have some credit situation or something like that. It's a little bit easier maybe to uh, uh, have an enticing loan for the bank to pick up on a new vehicle with some incentives and rebates, that kind of thing. Uh, however, I also know that we don't, uh, Dodge Chrysler Ram Jeep doesn't make the uh, exact vehicle that everybody wants. So the good thing about it is we have a great pre-owned selection. And, and, you know, like I said, whether or not you go new or pre-owned, it's really not uh, one's better or worse or anything of the sort. It's really about what fits your needs, what makes makes the most sense to you, okay? Um, now, another question we get asked a lot is, you know, is this the right time to buy, okay? Um, and when you're talking about is this the right time to buy, the once again, that, that's not really a, a decision for us to make, okay? Uh, or not a decision we're in a position to make. Our job here is to make sure we provide all the information necessary for our customers so they can make the best possible decision for them and their families. Um, now, if you're not sure if it's the right time to buy, by all means, we're more than happy to take a look at uh, your portfolio, look at your loan, your credit, uh, financial situation, all that kind of stuff, and we'll do our best to advise you uh, in the best way possible. And a lot of times, it's not the best time. Um, you know, maybe you uh, are too early in your trade cycle. Um, maybe. Uh, some, you had some things happen in your life and your credit went down a little bit, something along those lines. And if it's not going to put you in a, a, a better scenario, you know, we're, we're going to kind of let you know where you're at. And if it's not going to put you in a better scenario, then, you know, by all means, if you don't feel like it's the right time, then we're not going to be the guys who sit there and pressure you and, and try to talk you into anything of the sort. Um, like I said, our job is to make sure that we provide you all with all the information necessary so that you all can make the best decision both for the well-being and the financial stability of your families, yourself, and everything of the sort. Another question we get asked is, how much can I afford and what should I spend on a vehicle, okay? Um, you know, your house is paid for, you don't have a mortgage, uh, rent, or something like that, then obviously you can probably afford a little more a month than, you know, say the same person that does have a eleven dollars or $1,200 mortgage or rent payment, whatever the case may be. So as far as that goes, the one thing I always say and, and always uh, kind of harp on, and, and my big thing is, is that, you don't ever want to put yourself in a financial bind just to have something to drive. Now, by all means, I'm all about having something that's dependable. Make sure you get back and forth to work. Make sure you're just going to keep you and your family safe. And dependability and safeness is a huge factor, in my opinion. However, you don't want to uh, overexert yourself just because it's a little bit nicer uh, equipment. You know, if we have one that's got you know cloth seats and no navigation, and one that's got leather navigation and it's going to be a hundred dollar difference in payment and that hundred dollars could make or break you then there's nothing wrong with going with a vehicle that's a little more affordable still has the functionality and do what needs to happen and, and and makes it work and does it safely and comfortably as opposed to you know having leather and navigation when we all have our cell phones we use navigation on there and leather honestly in texas it's a little hot in the summertime anyway so you probably get by without that one but as far as your budget goes i highly suggest sit down take a look at it and if you're curious about what you can spend on a vehicle uh, figure out what you're spending on one right now and back into that amount and, and figure out if it's going to actually save or, or cost you more money to go with that and, and just sit down and do a cost assessment with, with what you have and where your bills are at and you know most of the time you'll be able to see so hey you know I got an extra $40 a month I can spend here I got you know an extra $60 a month or hey you know what I really need to save $45 or $50 a month and, and to put me in a better situation and if you can tell us kind of where you're wanting to be at and what you're trying to do we'll do everything possible to to uh, try to make sure we get that done for you guys. Because at the end of the day, like I said, our job is to take care of our customers. Um, we care about y'all, your family, and the last thing we ever want is for you to get out of this place, get out of our store, uh, get out of Elder Cedar Creek, and not be comfortable because you're in a uh, worse off financial situation than you came in for, okay?